Hello people, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Melodramatic Bookworm family. Also, welcome to a brand new book tag video. I, it's been a while since I've done a book tag video. I mean, the media book freak out tag doesn't count because that is that happens every year. This particular tag, which is called the I'm so annoyed book tag, it was suggested to me by I think it was Curious Cat, if I'm not mistaken. And I thought, okay, that sounds really fun to do because as bookworms, there are a million things that annoy us in books, about books, and around books every single day. So I thought, okay, let's see what this is about, and I went and checked out the prompts for this, the questions for this. So the original video for this tag is from the channel Books I'm Not Reading. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below if you'd like to go check it out. But yeah, I'm really excited to be doing this tag. Like I mentioned before, I'm doing a book tag after a long time, etc, etc, etc. There are 10 questions here. Uh, there's 11th as well, which is uh, a tag kind of prompt where I have to tag booktubers. So I will be doing that as well. So since there are 10 plus one, 11 questions to be answered and there's a lot of annoying things that I will be recollecting about books and etc etc etc. Let's dive right into this book tag and let me share with you my responses to the prompts of the I'm so annoyed book tag. Question number one, do publishers ever do things that you find annoying? Share an example. Do publishers, <laughs> what? There are so literally so many, but first one is mismatched heights of books in the same series and that irritates the heck out of me. Uh, I have one example right over here. Huh? What is this? What is this? These three were nice now. What is this? And then there's the mismatched covers. If it's the same series, have the same theme. Don't jump ship halfway through. Huh? And then something that is really not in our hands as readers and even I, I see why they do it, but I'm also like, why do you have to do it? The book came first and all that. It's movie tie-in editions. I, I don't like movie tie-in editions at all. The book had a nice cover. Just because they made a movie about it, it doesn't mean you trash the original cover and replace it with... Uh, it, is, it just irritates the heck out of me. But the thing is that I see that there's a, it's like a promotional thing, a promotional material thing and I can't do anything about it. I don't think anybody can do anything about it. It's like part of marketing etc etc and I mean I understand but I'm still annoyed. Question number two. Have you ever been annoyed by a spoiler? Even something as simple as someone else telling you there's a great twist? I mean, maybe I won't be annoyed by someone telling me there's a great twist and not exactly what the twist is about, but I hate spoilers with a passion. There's no description that would be enough for me to express how much I dislike spoilers. It's just not my thing. Just don't do it. Do not uh, do it, please. I'm pretty much the Hulk when it comes to spoilers, okay? And I go, that's my secret, Captain. I'm always annoyed by spoilers. That's me. Hulk smash. Question number three. Have you ever been annoyed by what you discovered in a little free library, a book sale or used bookstore? Tell us what you found and why it was so annoying. I mean, not in a used bookstore or a book sale or a library or something. And I have never come across a little free library over here. But at one point, there were a couple of times when I on ordered from online bookstores and I received pirated copies and that annoyed me to no end. Like why would you do something like that? I mean, I know, but still, it's wrong, it's bad. You, you are a reputable website. Do better. If I start. If I start. Question number four. When it comes to short story collections, are you annoyed if there's a novella in the middle of the collection? And yes, oh my god, yes. I mean, this is supposed to be a short story collection. You know what a short story is? Like, it's not a novella. So then what are you doing in the middle of this collection, huh? Hmm? You be go be yourself, huh? Okay, it's not the novella's fault, but still, it, 
irritates me. Question number five. Deckled edges, beautiful or annoying? They are beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous, but they can be annoying texture wise. Like imagine getting a paper cut just because you turned the page wrong. I mean, mm, that, that can happen even otherwise, but deckled edges just take it to the next level. And I'm here like, Question number six. Other people's annotations in a used book or library book? Annoying or are you okay with it? Used book, sure. It was their book. They owned it. They bought it with their money. They can do whatever they want with it. But library book, it I'd be furious. It's more annoying because it's not their property to be doing stuff like that. It's public property. You're not supposed to do things like that. It's book vandalism when it comes to library books. So you see how annoyed I get when it comes to library books. If it's their books, do what they want. I write in my books, I tab, I annotate my books. It's fine. That's because I own these books. I would never do it in a library book though. Question number seven. If there's a series or a collection of certain kinds of books, like an imprint and changes are made, are you annoyed or okay with it? If yes, give us an example. See, I've already mentioned this before, but more than anything, I am annoyed by height differences. One example, which I've showed you is the Thursday Murder Club series by Richard Osman. What? Why is this? Every time I look at it, I'm like, I need to take a deep breath because I need to calm myself down because this, this doesn't make sense. These three were nice, no? They were like in one set. See, so nicely. This one came. Balance is off. One set that I don't have with me at the moment, uh, which is back in India, is the Poppy War series. When I bought the Burning God, which was the third in the series, it was something like this. Poppy War. Dragon Republic this much and then came Burning God which is this much. Why? <laughs> Why? Like measure the damn thing. You have copies. It's not like you've sold out the whole thing. They keep getting printed, right? <laughs> Question number eight. Do the decisions of characters in a novel ever annoy you? Share the book and what decisions you found annoying. Okay. This happens way more often than I like but then again these our characters they're supposed to find their ways by making stupid decisions yada 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 etc 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 but then again coming back to my annoyance it's the miscommunication trope it just irritates me it, it just irritates me like just talk 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 everything will be resolved like magically resolved but if it were to be that then there would be like the book would be the story would be over in like five pages so doesn't doesn't make sense right and yet and one recent example of this was yours truly by abby jimenez i read it in february this year and every time the characters assume something about the other and made decisions based on that i had steam coming out of my ears like, <laughs> otherwise you're sermonizing no question number nine are you ever annoyed by how someone organizes their books what do you find annoying uh, see if it's someone's personal library i don't get annoyed because they might have their own system or maybe this the chaos is what they live for but bookstores and libraries on the other hand oof like, people just leaving books haphazardly uh, lying around after pulling them out and looking at it and do that's okay that's completely okay you take a book out see what it's about etc 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 but put it back no put it back and this will always irk me a little there have been so many times that we've gone to a bookstore or a library and i've seen books lying all hither and thither and uh, haphazardly and i have started to set them properly i have started to clear up the shelves i literally started stacking them question number 10 share something bookish that you find annoying oh small font small font my eyes aren't what they once were and small font just irritates me to no end if i see that a book has a small font even if that's something that i really wanted to read i will put it back I will not get that book. But even if my eyes were okay, even if I had 20-20 vision, why would I want to squint at a book when I actually want to relax by reading? Why would I want to do that? I mean, I know that's a whole other conversation in the 
publishing industry and all of that i don't even want to get into that but come on man pity as readers and last but not the least is the tag prompt where i will be tagging a few people i will tag them in the description box below so yeah that is done so that was my i'm so annoyed book tag and there are a lot of things that annoy me about the book industry and it sort of increases my blood pressure every time i think about anything like that but uh, what did you think of this video did you like it did you not like it or what are your answers to the prompts do you, do we share any annoyances would you like to do this instead maybe in the comments below again let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you if you like this video, please like it and share it to spread the word. And if you like my content and would like to see more from me, don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melodrama to your life.